This video will review three types of angle relationships. In it, we will study complementary angles, supplementary angles, and linear pairs. Let's start by classifying supplementary angles. The definition of supplementary angles is any pair of angles whose sum is 180. Now, a pair means two. You can't have one supplementary angle, and you can't have three supplementary angles. Supplementary angles have to be two angles, which add to B180. That would look like this. Angles A and B are supplementary angles. I know they're supplementary angles because angle A, 30 degrees, plus angle B, which is 150 degrees, add to be 180 degrees. You can also have supplementary angles like this. Now, in this case, I can't say angle O because I don't know which side you're talking about if you say angle O. Here, you gotta be more specific. Angle AOD, or angle DOA, depending on how you look at it, is 160 degrees. Angle DOB, or angle BOD, is 20 degrees. There are also supplementary angles because 160 degrees plus 20 degrees is 180 degrees. Actually, we're going to classify this pair of angles with a different name. If you have supplementary angles, which are also adjacent angles, then we're going to call those a linear pair. A linear pair is any pair of angles which add to be 180 but form a straight angle. Again, we can look at these, they're adjacent. They're adjacent angles, meaning they're an angles, a pair of angles that share a common vertex have the shared side, and have the added benefit of being supplementary. So the name that we're going to use in this year in Math 2 would be called these a linear pair. Another type of angle relationship are complementary angles. Complementary angles are a pair of angles whose sum is 90 degrees. Again, it must be two angles, not one, not three. Pair means two. So a pair of complementary angles would look like this. 50 degrees plus 40 degrees is 90 degrees. And again, you can also split it and have a pair of complementary angles like this. 60 degrees plus 30 degrees is also 90 degrees. Now let's look at a couple examples of how to use these angle relationships to solve for unknown angles. In the first diagram, we're told that the measure of angle YXZ is 64 degrees. Spend a moment and figure out what side would be angle YXZ. If you're not sure, trace it out. We're told that it goes from Y to X to Z, so either take your finger or take your pencil and trace it. To go from Y to X to Z would be this side. Don't go just simply by what side looks smaller. Sometimes a diagram is not drawn accurately, and to tricky, we may draw it wrong. However, if you go with what the name says, you can't be mistaken. When it says Y, X, Z, trace it, we know this side is 64 degrees. Now, if the measure of angle YXZ is 64 degrees, we want to find the measure of angle WXZ, sorry, WXY. That's the other side. So to find that angle, we need to figure out what type of angle relationship we're looking at. I see that together they form a straight angle, which means we're looking at a linear pair. The linear pair is a pair of supplementary angles that form a straight angle. So to do this, I can say the measure of angle WXY plus the measure of angle YXZ had to be 180. Now, anytime you're solving one of these angle problems, you need to give a justification. Don't use supplementary angles here. We can do better. These are supplementary angles, which are also adjacent angles. The better name for that is a linear pair. So when you do it, you want to write down next to it, it's a linear pair. That's your justification. Now, substituting what we know, we know the measure of angle YXZ is 64 degrees. So we can substitute. To solve for that missing angle, we need to simply subtract 64 from both sides and we'll find out that the measure of angle WXY is 116 degrees. Now spend a moment and look at problem two. Figure out what type of angle relationship these two angles are. Hopefully you said they're complementary angles. Now the way I know these are complementary angles is that box down at the corner. That box tells me that those two angles together make 90 degrees. Angles that add to be 90 degrees are complementary. So when we do this, we'll say which pair of angles we're looking at. Now again, you can't say angle B. We have two angle Bs here. So instead, we'll use the three-letter name. The acute angle up top would be angle ABC, and the other angle below would be angle CBD. So we would say, given what we know, the measure of angle ABC plus the measure of angle CBD is 90 degrees. The reason, complementary angles have a sum of 90 degrees. This is our justification. This is what we would write for credit. We can then substitute. We know the measure of angle ABC is X, and we know the measure of angle CBD is 2X plus 6. 
adding like terms, x plus 2x would be 3x, so we get 3x plus 6 equals 90. To solve it, we'll subtract 6 from both sides, and then divide by 3, in which case x is 28 degrees. Now I've got two more examples I'd like for you to work out. Find the measure of angle WXZ and the measure of angle MKL. Pause the video, work it out on your own, and when you're ready, hit play again. I'll wait a moment. Alright, hopefully you've worked both these problems out. Looking at them, I see that both of these are going to be linear pairs. They're both supplementary angles, which form a straight angle, or supplementary angles which are adjacent. In which case, both pairs of angles, for both problems, their sum are going to be 180 degrees. So setting up the first problem, I would say the measure of angle WXZ, which is the angle on the left, plus the measure of angle ZXY, which is the 67 degree angle on the right, add to be 180. The reason? They're a linear pair. Substituting, we would say the measure of angle WXZ plus 67 degrees equals 180. And then we just need to subtract to find that the measure of angle WXZ is 113 degrees. In the second problem, the measure of angle JKM, which is the 105 degree angle on the left, plus the measure of angle MKL on the right, add to B180. We know this because, again, they're a linear pair. Substituting, we see that the measure of angle MKL on the right, plus the 105 degree angle on the left, add to B180. Subtracting, and we find that the measure of that missing angle is 75 degrees. Alright, hopefully this helped you to understand these angle relationships, and thank you for watching.